What's up guys? Welcome back to another video of Lil Scratchers. And this is part 2 of how to make a rock paper scissor game in Scratch. So, in the last episode, we saw how to make 3 buttons and we made them work as buttons. And we also got this hand which also responds to which button is being picked. So for example, if I pick or if I tap on the paper button, then the hand does the rock, paper, scissors shoot and shoots out paper. The same goes with scissors as well as stone. We also fixed a bug where if the rock, paper, scissors shoot thingy is still going on, we can no longer press any of the buttons. So that's what we did in the previous video. In this video, we will be adding the bot, the bot which we will be playing against in this rock, paper, scissor game. So without any further delay, let's get started. So right now you must have noticed instead of four sprites, we have a fifth sprite, which is the bot sprite. So let me just show that to you. So this is the bot sprite and the same as the hand sprite. It's got the rock, the paper and the scissors, except for the fact that they are in purple color. So anyways, so let's start coding the bot hand. So uh, I'm gonna be doing when I receive chosen. So this variable, uh, I mean, this message will be broadcasted if a button is tapped or if a button is, uh, is clicked. So now I'll be doing uh, when I receive chosen, make a new variable, name it bot RPS and set bot RPS to nothing, just uh, nothing. And I'll be going ahead to the hand and just taking this, uh, the motion thing. So the, the turning of the hand, I'll take those codes and just put them in the bot code. Then what I'll be doing is I'll be setting bot RPS to, let's say, pick random number one to three. So we have three options, either rock, paper or scissors. So we're gonna pick a random number between one and three. And over here, what I'll be doing is I'll be adding if statements and if equal to, and say if the bot is equal to one, then set the bot RPS to R. And if bot RPS is two, set bot RPS to P and if bot RPS is three, we'll set the bot RPS to S. So one is rock, two is paper, and three is scissors. And also let's make a forever loop saying if and grab an equal to sign and say if bot RPS is R, then we switch to the costume of rock. Dwayne the Rock. And if bot RPS is P, then we switch to the costume paper. And if a bot RPS is S, then we switch to the costume scissors. So that's pretty much it. And also what we'll be doing is we'll be doing another when I receive chosen and then say repeat until and add in a not and then say repeat until bot rps is not equal to blank switch to the costume Dwayne the rock so now let's just give this a shot so i'm gonna be doing paper and as you can see, it kind of works. It's kind of working, but the thing is, uh, the motion 
is kind of off. So let's just go ahead and fix that. So I'm just going to be going ahead and playing with some values right here. And let's see if that works. And there we go. That perfectly works. So right now, as you can see, what the bot does is it picks a random number. And according to that number, it changes its hand sign to a particular thing, either rock, paper, or scissors. And it also keeps track of all of these stuff. So it'll come in very handy if we are working on the scoring system. Let's actually work on that right now. So now what I'll be doing is I'll be going ahead to the backdrops and making a new variable. Let's call this bot score and another variable named user score. So these variables will be keeping hold of the values of the scores of both of the players, the user and the bot. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the RPS stuff and just have the bot score and the user score in their particular places. So right here, I'll be going ahead and doing when I receive chosen forever, if, and grab an and to equal to's and let's say if RPS. So if user RPS, I'll just change the name to user RPS because it just kind of, you know, confusing. So let's say if the user RPS is R and the bot RPS is P. So right now, paper beats rock. So we're going to change the bot score to one and just go ahead and stop the script. So now if user RPS is R and bot RPS is S, rock beats scissors meaning the user gets a point and if both of them get r then none of them get a point so let's just do change bot score by zero and change user score by zero so now let's go ahead and duplicate all of these three codes and put it below the first set of codes and this time, let's put the user RPS to P, capital P, I'm sorry, it's, it's supposed to be a capital P because sometimes variables can be case sensitive. So right now, let's see. So paper will get beaten by scissors. So bot puts scissors, user puts paper, bot wins. And if user puts paper and bot puts rock, user wins. And if both put paper, none of them win. So now let's go ahead and duplicate these three things again and put it down and add scissors. So scissors right here, right here, and right here in the user RPS. And uh, right now, a uh, uh, scissor gets beaten by rock. So if user RPS is S and bot RPS is R, change bot score by one. If user RPS is S and bot RPS is P, change user score by one. If both of them are same, then you don't have to change anything. And also, let's say when the green flag is clicked, we said both the both of the score values to zero and over here let's just do a win green flag click switch to costume Dwayne rock so now let's just give it a shot again and uh, let's see there we go we got a point the bot got a point and we got another point and so the bot also got a point so this keeps on going 
infinite so this is gonna be very much infinite and so that is all the game is about let me just go ahead and change the backdrop color to a very nice blue color you could change it to any color you want but i like blue and there we go and the game is now complete so that's it guys i'm gonna be ending this video here if you like it smash that like button and guys please subscribe to little scratches thank you so much for 500 subscribers it means a lot to me also make sure to check out my other youtube channel and also my friend's youtube channel you will be seeing them on screen right now my name is parm8000 this is little scratches and i'll see you guys next time peace